Hey everyone, it's Riley and today I want to take you along to get one of my pre-made bullet journals, my little planners, ready for the month of May. So if you're new to my channel, welcome here. I post a lot of like bullet journaling and kind of doodling content. I sell custom journals in my Etsy shop, so I like to share both like flip throughs of the finished product, process videos, my own plan with me videos, all that kind of stuff. So if you're into bullet journaling, I think you'd enjoy my channel. So feel free to subscribe. So the journal that we're working in today is one of the like pre-made undated planner bullet journals that I designed that I launched. They're available in my Etsy shop. I'm going to have the link to those below. And basically it's like a coloring book style journal that you can use any time of year. So if you're looking for a planner or more of like a memory keeping journal, but you didn't get started on one at the beginning of 2023, no problem. This bullet journal is still perfect for you. You can use any month, any time. Um, and I'll show you what I mean when we actually get into the video. So don't forget to check out the links to my Etsy shop in the description if you're interested and comment below what kinds of themes you would like to see if I do another journal like this in the future. All right, so here is the undated planner that I've been setting up on my channel this year. And it does come in two colors. This is the vanilla, there's also moss. And here are the colors I'm using today. Feel free to pause if you want to see um, more of the details on those. Only the Tombow colors really have um, visible numbers, which is um, 228 is the green, and then 942 is the lighter, kind of tan, peachy sort of color. Um, and then I've got kind of just a mixture of other things. That Crayola marker is from the Colors of the World set. That white marker with the pink lid is from a Shuttle Art set. Um, and then there's one of the green Zebra Mod liners as well from their more recent launch of like that um, natural, neutral color uh, set. So anyways, those are the colors that I'm using today. And this is the journal. And I realize I didn't show in this video um, kind of a key part of this journal and that is in the back there are monthly titles that you can cut and paste onto whatever month you want. So I'm going to link the flip through of this whole journal where you can actually see those because that's what I mean when I say that this journal can be used for any month because if you just go into the back of the journal you can just cut and paste um, either full form or short form that monthly title and paste it onto whatever cover page whatever month you decide to use for that month. So see like the calendar here doesn't have dates or anything written in and there's an empty spot for the title and I chose to just write it in myself because that's always an option for you guys too. Um, but yes, the titles or the monthly titles, yeah, are in the back of the journal that you're welcome to cut and paste if you'd like. And um, yeah, that's how the journal works just so that you can keep it undated, use it whenever you want to. So even if you haven't started your planner yet for this year or you have, but it's just really not working for you and you want something with a bit more freedom maybe, um, you can come to this one. And the font that's in the back matches like this writing here for the word habits and this month, it all matches together. So that's how it works. So as you saw, I set up the cover page and then the monthly calendar for this month. And now I've moved on to the next monthly page, which has the habits here on the left and then a really vague open page on the right. And um, I'm really cruising through this video. It's going to be a short and sweet one today um, because honestly, that has been my approach to this journal this year. I, I love bullet journaling but I don't love giving it too much time, especially now. I feel like my time is in such high demand these days um, with, yeah, doing my own bullet journal just like for pleasure, doing stuff for my work, having my son and stuff like that. I just, yeah, my time is a lot more um, precious than it used to be because there's so little of it. So I really try to be quick, especially with things like this where I'm just coloring in. Like on this page, I feel like it would look so neat if you used like, um, more than just one color on each flower, you know, like if you kind of shaded it a little bit, I feel like that would really make things pop, but I, I just didn't want to take the time to do that. So I kept things very simple. I used two different colors for the flowers, two different colors for the leaves, and I still love how it turned out. This theme is one that I was so excited to use, especially the weekly spreads. Like I think the monthly pages are beautiful too, but I feel like the weekly pages here where it's just like packed full of doodles, is so fun. That's actually kind of a style um, of weekly spread that I started doing a little bit last year around this time. I was on bed rest around this time, so I was only allowed to sit up for like 20 minutes every two hours. Other than that, I was lying on the couch. 
So when I did get to sit up, I was using a very different journal setup than I normally do, and one that lended itself a lot more to doodles than what I normally would use. And so since I had basically, you know, stopped working on other things because I was on bed rest, I would just take my whole sitting up time to do fun doodles and just kind of chill. And I shared all of those, or lots of them anyways, in like reels on Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, um, I would encourage you to do so, especially if you like short form content like that. Like I share a lot of like monthly setups here on YouTube, but I never really share my weekly spreads or any weekly spreads for that matter. Um, so if you like that kind of thing, or if you want to see more like custom bullet journal themes that I do, you can find that kind of content over on Instagram or on TikTok as well. I've been posting a little bit of that, but I have kind of dropped the ball with TikTok over the past month or so. So if you have one of these planners from my shop, first of all, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have one of them, I would love to hear from you. What has been your favorite theme that you've used so far? Um, and it, whether you have one or don't have one, what is the theme that you wish were in there or would like to see in a future rendition? I would love to hear from you guys in the comments and also from those of you who don't have one. Is there something specific standing in your way of getting one? I mean, obviously they're not for everyone and I totally respect that, but if there's just like one thing that is getting in your way of buying it, I would love to hear from you down in the comments because I do try to really cater my products to suit the people who have been supporting me all this time here on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear from you. So that's the weekly spread. Let's do a quick flip through. We've got the title page and that open page you can use for whatever you'd like. Then I did a really simple monthly calendar page and the other sort of monthly tracking page. And finally, the weekly spread. And this is my favorite page of this entire setup. And of course there are four more, three more, sorry, weekly pages that you can color the same way. Thank you all so much for joining me for another journaling video today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.